Hi guys, welcome to this week's vlog. My name is Will Faulkner. I'm a photographer based in Melbourne, Australia, and I upload one tutorial per week. So this week's tutorial is really aimed at newcomers to the professional market, whether that's someone just out of college or university, or you've just finished your diploma in photography, or you've just become self-taught from, uh, from, from YouTube. Um, I've been doing this full-time for about five years now, maybe, maybe a bit more. Um, since then I've done a range of different projects. I've published a book, I've had corporate clients come and go, um, I've done events, uh, all sorts of things. And today I thought I would share with you some uh, avenues that you can pursue that can make you money, okay? We've already talked about um, how to gain more clients in another vlog that I'll link below. Um, but this one's more aimed at uh, giving you um, set sort of uh, things that you can do each week uh, or, each, or each year that can make you money. So let's head over to the computer and uh, we'll get started. Okay, first of all, let me tell you that all the media that you're gonna see here in this video is all for my portfolio. None of it has been uh, poached from the internet. So we're gonna talk about the main uh, sort of services that I offer. Um, there's a bunch of spin-off services that can make you money, but um, we'll talk about these main ones that are scrolling through here, and we'll go through them one by one quickly, and I'll show you some examples, and hopefully that will uh, get you guys um, motivated to get out there and, and make some money. So here's the first one uh, that we'll talk about, guys, and this is a basic corporate video. And again, uh, if you go through my YouTube channel, you'll see a tutorial on how to make these videos they're really simple um, well I should say they're not simple it's just that you've got to get the lighting right and the audio right but once you've practiced a few times um, you'll get into the flow and just go and do the same settings every time and away you go but this is a basic three-point lighting video and I basically bought um, some small camera top LED lights from um, from uh, eBay and I use them for these little videos and they work really well um, it's one camera, so one SLR camera, one 50mm lens, and three lights on nano stands, and um, a audio recorder. I use the Zoom H4n audio recorder uh, with a couple of XLR microphones. All of those things I got off eBay uh, quite cheaply. So corporate videos, guys, this is a great, great way to make money. Um, I was I recently finished up with this company. Uh, but I was pretty much providing a regular fortnightly video um, at their offices. Uh, you know, they didn't even, didn't even have to book it. I was just booked in every two weeks to turn up and, and film. And it was a good little sort of bit of bread and butter each, each fortnight. So look into that one, guys. Corporate videos. The next uh, service I want to talk about is property photography or real estate photography or architectural photography. Um, Architectural photography is generally reserved for uh, as a term for sort of uh, larger properties. Uh, these these images here, I would call these uh, real estate or property photography. Um, but basically, you need to uh, invest in a little bit of kit. Uh, you need to get um, some strobes. I've got um, speed lights on a, a wireless system. Uh, again, it's one SLR camera with a wide-angle lens, a 16 to, to um, 35 mil. Canon lens, and I've also got a large strobe that I bought uh, for about $700, and that's for lighting large rooms like the, um, the large kitchen that you're seeing here. But uh, guys, that's definitely something that can be done fairly inexpensively. It does take practice. I would advise to go online and study, study, study on all the YouTube tutorials. And look, to be honest, I'm still perfecting my property photography, but it is something that everyone needs. Uh, I will say it's a highly competitive market that doesn't pay very well. Um, but, you know, I've done a bunch of these over the years and they have made me money. Um, but it is very hard to get clients. But look, you may be in a position where you're the only one in your area offering that service. And if you can offer a great uh, property service where you're doing uh, window pulls, which means you're uh, taking a perfect exposure of the view as well as a perfect exposure inside and photoshopping them together. If you can provide that when no one else is, I think you'll make a steady income. So look into property photography. 
Okay, the next um, service I'll talk about is event photography. Event photography um, can pay pretty well. I charge a set rate per hour. I don't charge per photograph. Uh, I have found that too hard um, charging per photograph and not very appealing to, to people. Um, so you, as a photographer, you want to know that you're going to get paid a certain amount of money for a certain amount of time as well. So I've got fixed prices on my website, uh, prices per hour, and I generally say to the client, look, it's two hours minimum. Um, you don't want to go and you know get all organized for one hour. It's not really worth it for you. But event photography can um, be a good little earner. Um, what I've found is clients will only call you for that one or two events per year, but it's just a matter of getting a whole bunch of clients calling you once or twice a year, and, and over time you've got a nice little, um, nice little bundle of, of clients that will contact you on a regular basis. Um, I don't offer prints anymore. I found that a waste of time. Not many people are ordering prints in this digital age. I just offer high resolution downloads. So they pay me a certain amount of money per hour. And I say, yep, I'll, I'll take as many photos as I can and um, put them up on, on, a, on a gallery for them with a password. And um, they just download them and away you go. So look into event photography, guys. It's a nice little earner for you. The next product I'd like to talk about is artistic photography. Now, artistic photography is what I enjoy most. And basically, I do this whenever I have spare time. So whenever I've done all my work um, and I go, look, I've got nothing to do, I'll head out on the streets and look for new artistic images of my surroundings, whether that be in my home city here in Melbourne or out on the road, wherever I may be, it's what I do. And over time, I found I had enough images to create a book. So I set about creating that book, and now that book is um, selling in the stores, um, and I get a, a check from the distributor each month. So I encourage you to pursue that, guys, but just be careful. Um, Look at the other video I've made on how to produce a um, how, how to self-publish a book. It's not as easy as you may think, and if you just go ahead and publish a book and hope it's going to sell, it may not. You've got to be careful that it's actually uh, a product that that people will buy. But I cover all that in another video on this channel, so check it out. Also, what I've found is with artistic images, I'll put them on my website for sale and occasionally they sell, but the way it really works in gaining me work is I will email my mailing list a link to that image saying something like, look guys, I hope you're well. Um, I thought you might enjoy this interesting image that I took last weekend. Here's a link. And it throws them to your website and all of a sudden you've got people looking at your website. They might jump across and go, oh look, I've got a, an event. Can you photograph for me next weekend? And it works really well to keep your presence in people's minds. Okay, check it out guys, artistic photography. Okay, the next service I want to talk about is food and product photography. Everyone has a website, okay, and a lot of people like to sell items on their website. And if they've got half a brain, they'll employ a professional photographer to shoot those products professionally. Now, the way I do it is with product photography, I take product typically on a white backdrop um, with strobes, and I'll email that product off to a clipping artist. The clipping artist clips it, charges me like, you know, two or three dollars per item, which I then pass on to the customer and get the customer to pay me and deliver it to the customer either as Photoshop files or with a white background um, rendered afterwards in Photoshop. Food photography, on the other hand, can be more difficult um, only because some uh, clients will expect you to style the food as well. And I had this one time on a hamburger a franchise that I shot a menu for and I turned up there and they gave me a kitchen hand to work with and the kitchen hand brought out the food and uh, put it on the table and I shot the food I shot the food in a professional manner um, but then the owners turned around and said look that that food looks terrible I said well I'm not a food stylist I shot the food there's nothing wrong with the, with the photography it's the, it's the food and they wanted me to style the food as well, okay? That was that was in their impression. So I didn't make that clear in the agreement, in the contract, that I wasn't gonna be styling food. But it was my first job shooting food, and I've since learned that you have to clarify that you're not a food stylist, you're a food photographer. If you want to do food styling at the same time, um, you know, that's a, that's a big ask. In my opinion, that's, that's a lot of work to go back and forth from being the photographer 
uh, to being the food stylist and, and doing it all in one. But, you know, look into it. Um, study food, food photography online is generally done with um, natural lighting and reflectors, but I have uh, seen people do it with LED constant lighting and uh, that works really well. So check it out, guys, food and product photography. Okay, the last service I want to talk about today is headshots or portraits. Um, headshots, the term is generally reserved for um, a quick shot, well not quick, but a shot from the sternum above the head. Portraits can be um, environmental portraits where you take um, the, the, the full body shot in front of the uh, work environment. Uh, they're a bit more stylish and portraits are a bit more fun as well. But headshots, um, everyone needs them. Um, I have found it difficult to find headshot customers. They're pretty rare, but you know the market does exist, and I have shot many companies. Um, it doesn't take much. Uh, check out the video uh, in the description about shooting headshots with one strobe and a reflector. And uh, I actually had a broken leg at the same time when I shot that video. It's quite funny. Um, you don't need more than you know an SLR camera, one SLR camera and a strobe, and you can rent whatever lens and strobe that you need as well. Um, you can go out there, make some money. Um, headshots at the moment, I charge uh, $110, including tax per shot, and I have a minimum of four people. And as you get more popular, you can um, you can rake up your charges. I know that Peter Hurley, last time I, I heard Peter Hurley in the United States was charging $1,000 US per headshot session. Um, so, you know, the sky's the limit as far as what you can charge, I suppose. But look into it, guys. Headshot photography can be a good little earner. Um, it's simple. Practice, practice, practice is the go. I have a, a um, plastic mannequin that I practice on here. Um, with a wig and I just practice the, the the reflections and the and the shadows and everything so when I go to do a job I've got it nailed I've got my settings nailed I just turn up plug in the the, the pre-practice settings and away I go bang 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 making money if you have any questions about headshots please give me a shout out in the um, comments below so that's it guys thanks for watching I hope you've learned something if you have learned something please consider being a patreon I would really appreciate it there's a link down below in the description Please subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for the next vlog. Thanks for watching.